Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to GATE CSC 2003. The given question is, relation R has 8 attributes. Oh my god, 8 attributes. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Okay, field of R contains only atomic values. C, H implies a G, A implies a B, C, B implies a C, F, H. E implies A. F implies E G. Okay. Is a set of functional dependencies. So that F plus is exactly the set of F D so that holds R. Okay. So now they are asking what is the count of the candidate key. Oh my god. This is an easy question right. Yes. So let us start. The variables are A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H. So the dependencies are C, H implies G. A implies B, C. B implies C, F, H. E implies A, F implies E and G. Right? Yes. So let us start underlining and let us start our method, guys. So on this side, these are the right side variables. So G, uh, B, C, uh, then we are having F and H, then we are having A, then we are having E and G. So indirectly, the only variable which is missing is a D, right? So A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H, right? Yes. So D is the mandatory thing to be clear now, right? Yes. So if I try to directly find the D closure, okay. So the funny thing is uh, using D, we are not going to get anything, guys. Right? Yes. So let us uh, try with other things, okay? So D with the all combinations. So A, B, C, D, E, sorry, D will not come again. E, F, G and H. So D, 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 D. 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 So to be clear with the D we are not going to get anything. So the other variable will be the king here, right? Yes. Okay. So from A. Okay. Let me write it completely. So that will be clear for us. Okay. Yes. So from A I can go to B, C. From B I can go to C, F, H. Uh, from F I can go to E and G. I think everything is covered, right? So A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H. So A, D is A. Uh, candidate key moving on uh, db okay so when it comes to db from b i can go to c f h from f i can go to e and g from e i can go to a so a b c d e f g and h this is also done moving on to dc okay wow from dc we cannot go anywhere guys right yes Okay, moving on to DE. From E, I can get to A. So if I get to A, I will get to these things, right? Yes. So this is also a candidate key, right? Yes. So now we are done up to 3. Okay, so now let us move. So DF. Okay, so if F is there, I can get to E and G. From E, I can get to A. So this is also a candidate key. So hence option A is wrong, right? Yes. So now moving on DG. Okay, so from G, I cannot get anything and H also, I cannot get anything, right? Yes. So now we have cancelled these three things, right? So let us try making combinations with respect to them, guys. So the variables are D. So D is mandatory. So the variables are C, uh, G, H. So D, C, G, D, uh, C, H, D, uh, G, H, right? Yes. So these are the three possible combinations. So D, C, G, D, C, H. Uh, D G H. So I am just uh, making combinations which are not possible, which have not, which have failed the exam, right? Yes. Okay. So now let us continue. So if uh, C G is available, nope, I can't do anything, right? With C G. C. Okay. I can't do anything with the C H. Yes, I can get a G. From G there is nothing. Hence it got also stuck there. D G H. Nothing. So now I think we should make four pair, right? Three pair, right? Yes. So D, C, G, H. So if I try now D, C, G, H. From C, H, I can get a G, but that's it. So the only pairs are four, right? The candidate keys are, that is nothing. But option B is the correct answer. And A, D, A, D, B, D, E, D, F. So these are the four different candidate keys which are possible. Got it? Yes. So now I hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.